Good morning, this is morning prayer for Saturday, January the 29th. It's year one, Epiphany three, and week three of the Psalm cycle. The scriptures for this service, Psalm 55. Isaiah chapter 51, verse 1 through 8, and Revelation chapter 15, verse 3 and 4. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia. Alleluia. Entrust your cares to Yahweh, to God who supports you. Alleluia. Psalm 55. O oh, listen to my prayer, and do not hide from my pleading. Attend to me and reply with my cares, I cannot rest. I tremble at the shouts of the foe, at the cries of the wicked, for they bring down evil upon me, and they assail me with fury. My heart is stricken within me, death's terror is on me. Trembling and fear fall upon me, and horror overwhelms me. Oh, that I had wings like a dove, to fly away and be at rest, so I would escape far away and take refuge in the desert. I would hasten to find a shelter from the raging wind, from the destructive storm, and from their plotting tongues. For I can see nothing but violence and strife in the city. Night and day they patrol high on the city walls. It is full of wickedness and evil. It is full of sin. Its streets are never free from tyranny and deceit. If this had been done by an enemy, then I could bear it. If a rival had risen against me, then I could hide. But it is you, my own companion, my intimate friend. How close was the friendship between us. We walked together in harmony in the house of God. As for me, I cry to you, and you will save me. Evening, morning, and at noon, I cry and lament. You deliver my soul in peace in the attack against me, for those who fight me are many, but you hear my voice. You will hear and will humble them, the eternal judge, for they will not amend their ways. They have no fear of you. My companion has turned against me, has broken our pact, with speech softer than butter, with a heart set on war, with words smoother than oil, though they are naked swords. I entrust my cares to you, to you who support me. You will never allow the just one to stumble. I trust in you. Glory to you, source of all be, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Entrust your cares to Yahweh, to God who supports you. Alleluia. The lesson is from Isaiah chapter 51, beginning at verse 1. Listen closely to what I say. You who pursue justice, you who seek Yahweh, consider the rock from which you were hewn, the quarry from which you were cut. Look to Abraham, your father, and Sarah, your mother, who bore you. They were but one couple when I called them, but I blessed them and made them many. Indeed, Yahweh will comfort Zion, will give comfort to all its ruins, will turn its desert into an Eden. In desert, its desert will be like the garden of Yahweh. Joy and happiness will be found there thanksgiving and the sound of music. Hear me, my people, listen to me, my nations, for instruction comes from me, and my justice will be a beacon to the peoples. My vindication draws near, my deliverance approaches, my arm will bring justice to the people, and the islands will put their hope in me. They will put their future in my hands, Lift your eyes and look up to the heavens, and then look to the earth below. For the heavens will vanish like smoke, the earth will wear out like a coat, and those who live on it will die like flies. But my liberation will last forever. My vindication will never fail. Listen to me, my people, you who love justice and hold my teachings in your heart. Do not fear the insults of others. 
Do not be alarmed when they curse you, for the moth will chew them like a coat. The worm will swallow them like wool, but my liberation will last forever. My vindication from generation to generation. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. We pray for your holy church that all may be one. Grant that every member of the church may truly and humbly serve you, and that your name may be glorified by all. We pray for all of our church leaders, especially Joe and Tom and Alan, that they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacraments. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world, that there may be justice and peace on the earth. Have compassion on those who suffer any grief or trouble, that they may be delivered from their distress. For the unemployed, especially for Brian and Robert. For the sick, especially for Stephen Michael. For the dead, especially David and Ramon, and Angelo and Miriam, and Walter and Patrick, and Stephen and David. Let light perpetual shine upon them. We praise you for all your saints who have entered into your joy. May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom. That God who has begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment. For the mercy of God community, for Joseph Gerald, Thomas Bonaventure, Donna Allen, Ronald Francis, James Bernard, Peter Christopher, Stephen Luke, William John, Donald Columba, Max Bartholomew, Todd Dunstan, Brian Daniel, Raymond Patrick, Richard Robert, Stephen Michael, William Irwin, Brian, and for all the Mercy of God associates. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia! Great and amazing are your deeds, Lord God the Almighty. Alleluia! The Song of Moses, the Servant of God, and the Song of the Lamb. Great and amazing are your deeds, Lord God the Almighty. Just and true are your ways, King of the nations. Lord, who will not fear and glorify your name? For you alone are holy. All nations will come and worship before you, for your judgments have been revealed. Glory to you, source of all being eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Great <coughs> and amazing are your deeds, Lord God the Almighty. Alleluia. <coughs> Bless Yahweh my soul, and glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.